Hey friends, welcome to Chemistry Lover and this is after a long time I am making a video. So uh, in this video I will be basically talking about a question from JAM exam and it's a very important question. This is also a very interesting question as you will see. So this is a question about the rearrangement in a aromatic compound and uh, so the question consists of several concepts. Why the rearrangement is taking place? Why the starting material is not that much stable and um, why uh, this rearrangement is so fast so all these uh, things will be uh, covered in this video so stay tuned and watch the video till the end well so we have this question uh, you have given with this compound and it is treated with aluminium chloride basically aluminium chloride is there and in presence of trace amount of water okay and the reaction condition is 25 degrees centigrade so you have to predict what will be the product these four options are given now before uh, starting the reaction starting to understand the reaction we have to know or we have to understand what is the problem with this so we have this as our starting material what is the problem why the hell it will react at all right so this is a this is not a uh, very reactive compound as it is looking uh, can you find any reactive group in it no right so as such it is not very reactive but then why it is reacting and actually some rearrangement is taking place so uh, if you look at this uh, this particular compound has a this particular compound has a inherent problem what is the problem the problem is the with the position of these two methyl groups now if you uh, if you take methyl groups what are they they are one is their plus i group they shows positive inductive effect and another effect is there if you remember and that is yes hyper conjugation so if you have this pi system and you have methyl group so we have this hyper conjugation has this effect we have to understand it so let's say you have these two methyl groups placed like this okay so hyper conjugation will create uh, some structure like this what it will make hyper conjugation will make something like this ch2 h plus okay and here you will have negative charge right so you can show it like this so this is how it will create negative charge and now you can see you have another methyl group so this methyl group it also has hyper conjugative effect so it will push electron at the same time it will uh, push electron through inductive effect also so plus i effect and hyper conjugation so this position already has a negative charge and this methyl group is pushing more electron so this effect will actually uh, destabilize the system and if you uh, take the uh, situation of this methyl group it will be same for it because this methyl group has hyper conjugating effect on this side right and the same thing will happen when the two methyl groups are in the para position right when they are in the para position same thing can happen because uh, if you have hyper conjugation in the para position what will happen see so here it will push it will go and the negative charge will accumulate here so same problem so that means this will not be the answer and this will also not be the answer because where the methyl groups will go so this this cannot be the answer now uh, you can um, you, you can think that this may be the answer but uh, as this water is there but you can see this is a trace amount of water not a large amount and 
this water why it is given actually it is given for the solubility of this alcl3 right so we can easily uh, see that the answer will be this one c is the correct answer but now let us see the mechanism how it is uh, happening so this is our starting material we have this methyl group and another methyl group over here now when you will give al uh, alcl3 alcl3 what will happen so now the role for the water comes so you have uh, water trace of water along with alcl3 as you remember so this water will actually first coordinate with the alcl3 so what will happen here it is very interesting uh, i have to erase this one yeah so you can see you have this water molecule over here so it will coordinate with the alcl3 and that means here you will have positive charge here you will have negative charge now these uh, protons become very much um, acidic as well as um, electrophilic so from here from the pi system the attack will take place on the proton and you will have this thing this thing yeah so positive charge right so this is the thing now from here what can happen so from here you can see this methyl group it can shift over here and this is how the pi network rearrange itself to give you so you will have this proton here methyl and here you will have the positive charge so this is basically a rearrangement and now this proton will go to uh, retain the aromaticity right so this is how it will go and you will have this now you can see this compound so if you look into this compound this is quite stable than the starting material because you can see here here if you look at the um, inductive effect or the hyper conjugation of the methyl group you will see that uh, you cannot place the negative charge over here right either it will go here or here or here uh, these positions are not having negative charges right mm, but actually this is not the case yeah so here you will have negative charge this position this position and this position all the other positions uh, will not have the negative charges right actually it will be this so yeah all these three positions can have negative charge but not the other position so these three positions are not but these three can have negative charge so uh, there is no uh, such interaction between these two groups and that's why this is a stable and this will be the product i hope you enjoyed the video if you like the video give a thumbs up and share this video with your friends